Izzy? Okay. Hi. Ladies, How are you? ladies first. We should start with Izzy then. Hold on for the mic. Yeah. Sorry. How are you, first off? Um, I'm great. That's I'm great. great. I'm, war I'm, I'm warning you all now. I'm probably going to start crying at some point because <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm very emotional right now, but I'm great. Well, congratulations on your huge win tonight. Before AEW Revolution, we saw you in two pay-per-view matches that were absolutely brutal. Those type of matches take years off of people inside the ring. How many more of those type of matches do you have in you? Uh, hopefully none. <laughs> Honestly. Um, they're hard. Uh, it's uh, it, it sucks when this, like kiss met stuff sort of happens, you know, uh, and it leads, it points you in a, a very brutal direction, you know. I, I think dog collar matches are uh, stupid dangerous. Um, I'm happy I still have all my teeth and I didn't even chip one today. Uh, but they're, they're very, they're very brutal and it's, it's hard, I think, for fans to understand exactly how brutal they are. You know, I think most people have been punched in the face once or twice in their life so they can kind of relate to that, but having, um, like, you know, 12, 20 feet of loggers chain attached to your neck, it, it, it just, it sucks. And it's one of those, why am, why am I doing this moments? Uh, but it's just kind of a love letter to uh, Roddy Piper. I mean, my career, I had a couple of good dog collar matches um, with some good people. And I just, it just, it just kind of made sense to, you know, to tell that story. In the back there, please. Oh, Righteous Reg of Pro Wrestling Illustrated and Grab City Podcast. A great match. Uh, Thank you. Seems like you're having a lot of fun, even though it was super brutal, <laughs> which is fun. Um, everybody got a little fake out with MJF and the cult's personality, but you pivoted and brought back the AFI thing. How important was it to kind of pay tribute to yourself <laughs> yes, with the gear and the theme and everything? Um, I mean, it's pretty important, you know. <sighs> I, I loved ROH so much, you know, and uh, I, I, I can't explain how happy I am that like, my footage. <laughs> It's in good hands, you know. It's just, it's, it, it's just, it's just good to know that it's in the hands of somebody who who treat it well. I literally feel like my baby is in somebody's hands that I know will raise the child the right way and uh, do good things with it. And you know, uh, it, it just it won't get made into just some tab on a shitty, confusing app that's hard to navigate. <laughs> Uh, and, and, and the boys don't get paid anything off it, you know what I mean? So it's just, it, it, it was, uh, you know, it was, it, it, it's very good. But to, to kind of pay homage to, you know, myself and stuff like that, listen, I didn't get to do this for seven years. This didn't exist for seven years for me. And, uh, you know, the, obviously the truth is that I, I love professional wrestling very much. Um, so, you know, to come back and to be able to for six months, you know, it's, it's not just do whatever the fuck you want. It's, it's doing whatever the fuck you want and being, being cocky enough to know that your way is not the right way. There's never only one right way, but it's fucking good. Yes. And to have somebody that listens to you and to have somebody that can take an idea and make it even better. And, and just to have an open dialogue, not just with him. But with other people in the locker room, and, and, and it's just—it's great that you don't have to beat your head against the wall and explain, you know, like why your ideas are shitty and why I don't care who you you think you are that you you don't know what you're doing. And it's it's nice. It's, it's everything's everything's just so great. I don't even know if I answered your question. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Thank you. Brian Rhodes, You were away from wrestling for a while. How special is it to have these positive feelings about pro wrestling again? 
I'm sick of crying. Today's today's <laughs> been today's been brutal crying. Um, first time I cried today is uh, when they showed me my ring jacket. Um, and they they replaced the skull and bones with uh, the silhouette of Larry. I started crying. Um, I had a, after my match, um, somebody came up to me. I'm not, I don't need to say who, and they were just like, you're, you're going to hate me for saying this, but I, I, I do this because of you. You know, I, I saw Straight Edge Society and I was blown away. And I went to WrestleMania to watch you and Rey Mysterio. And I got into wrestling because of you. And, I, I didn't I didn't know that this particular individual got into wrestling or anything because of me. So it's it's just uh, man, I, I'll put it to you like this: I love Bret Hart, and Bret Hart's career was cut short, and it's a goddamn tragedy because there's people that go over Saudi Arabia and they get paid millions of dollars, and you know that that should have been Bret, you know. And uh, <laughs> I just feel super fortunate and grateful and appreciative that uh, I got a second chance, you know? I'd give it up in a heartbeat to give it to Brett. <laughs> but I'm going to enjoy it. Um, and I just, I just love that.